What you guys, today I'm going to show you this recovery partition that can actually save your PC if you're having issues with it. Maybe your PC is not booting, and this sort of hidden partition is going to be able to rescue your PC. So first off, you're going to need to download 7-Zip. This is to unpack any sort of files that we are using in this uh, tutorial. So go ahead and download 7-Zip. If you want to use WinRAR, you can do. I prefer 7-Zip. But once you've got that downloaded and installed, just click on uh, the next one, which is your WinPE. You're going to need a WinPE version. You can use Hiren's WinPE, or you can use whatever WinPE you want to use. If you've got one of your own favorite ones, by all means, use one of those. Next up, we are going to download EasyBCD. We're going to need this because this is what's going to create our hidden partition. So go to see more and then download the non-commercial version. This is the free version because this is for home users. So go ahead and register an account and download it. Once you've got it downloaded, we can now go next and agree to the terms and conditions and get this installed onto our computer. So let's go ahead and click on install and this will then install. We're not going to run it just yet because we've got a few more things to do. Now, before I deal with the ISO image, let me go ahead and talk about today's video sponsor, CD Key Cells. If you need a cheap Windows 10 Pro or a cheap Windows 11 Pro OEM key, then check out the links in the video description. Click on the Buy Now button, create an account, and use my promo code capital B capital R 09 and apply this to your order, and you'll get a 30% discount. Once you've done that, you can submit your order and then go to the activation center and activate your version of Windows. Okay, so then back to the tutorial. What we're going to do here is I've got an ISO file here which is zipped. So I'm going to unpack this. Now, again, you can use whatever WinPE version you want to use, but this one's got quite a few tools on it which all come in pretty handy. I'm not going to be linking to any WinPEs in the video description, but I'm pretty sure you know where to get your WinPEs. If not, you can create your own ones. So this is the ISO image. I'm going to drag this out and drag this onto my desktop. And that is now onto my desktop here. I can now put this here, delete the zip file. I don't need this anymore. And all I need to do here is right click on this and mount it because we need to mount it to drag out some files that we want inside here. So right click, click on mount. Inside here, you will see all the files that have been created for this WinPE. We're only interested in two folders here, the Wim folder and the apps folder. So let me go ahead and quickly create a new folder called recovery because I want to copy them into there temporarily. So let's go ahead and copy the apps folder and the Wim folder. So the apps folder is going to have all the applications in it and the Wim folder is going to have the actual build in there. So I'm just going to copy these over to our recovery folder temporarily. And we can then move these to our partition, which we're going to create next. So now that's done, we can now close this off. And we can also now remove the ISO image. We don't need this, so we can dismount this. So I'm going to go back to this PC. I'm going to right click on here and dismount. Just like so, eject. And we're going to also eject the uh, WinPE here for Hirons. Let's go ahead and delete this ISO. We don't need this no more. We're finished with this one. Okay, so now we have our recovery folder. What we need to do next is we're going to right click on the start button and go to disk management. And from here, this will open up the disk manager. We need to shrink a partition of our Windows C drive here. So I've got a little Windows C drive here. So I'm going to quickly shrink volume, right click on it and shrink volume. And we just need to choose probably around about four gigs or something like that. So we need to put, say, 4,000 inside here. You need to have enough space for these particular files to be put into our recovery partition. You could probably get away with 3,000, So, but we're going to do 4,000 here for four gigs or just about four gigs. Now we've got unallocated space, so what we need to do here is right-click and go New Simple Volume. Now we can create our new simple volume by clicking on Next. And this will then create our volume for us. So let's go next here and go next again. You can give it a drive letter. So I'm just going to give it a drive letter of Z. Click next. And you can see it's NTFS file system. That's fine. And give it a volume label of whatever you want to call it. You can either call it rescue, you can call it recovery, you can call it whatever you like. I'm just going to call mine rescue for now. 
and we're going to quickly click on next and this will perform a quick format of that new volume that we've just created there there we go there's our partition now done and we can now move on to the next step so let's go ahead and we're going to go back to our desktop go to file explorer go to this pc and you can now see this is our partition so what we need to do is copy those two folders in there apps and we also need to copy inside here the WIM folder. Now you could leave it as recovery if you want to and just copy the whole folder over if you want to, or you can just copy the actual uh, folders itself. It's entirely up to you which way you go about doing it. It doesn't really matter because we're going to be putting the path to the actual file inside one of those files or those directories. So it doesn't really matter. So let's copy that over just like so. And that's now done. And from here, what we can do is now close this off. And you can delete the recovery folder if you didn't copy that over. If you did, then it's already over the other side into that partition, so it doesn't really matter. So let's go ahead and move to this PC again. And we should now see there are some files inside here. And that's now done. What we need to do next is to open up Easy BCD. This will allow us to add a new entry on our boot menu. And we're going to be adding that recovery partition there. So let's go ahead and open up Easy BCD. And we're going to click OK here to continue because we are non commercial. And we're going to click OK. And once that's done, this will now open up the software. So click OK again. And here we are, we're in Easy BCD. So this is the view of our boot menu right now. You can see there's only Windows there, but we need to add a new entry. Now go down to the very bottom here where it says Portable External Media. Click on WinPE and what we need to do here is give it a name. So you can call this whatever you like. Leave it as WIM image because we're going to be going to RAM disk here and boot into that. So what we need to do is call it Rescue or Rescue Disk or Recovery Disk or Recovery or whatever it is you want to call yours. Just give it a name. Now, once we've done that, we can now go to the Path section and locate. Uh, our actual WIM file that we've got here. So go to the Explore section, and now we need to navigate to that partition. So this PC, Rescue, and then go into the WIM folder. Inside here, you'll see the actual WinPE 64-bit.WIM. And we could even remove the 32-bit version if we wanted to, if you want to keep the space small. Next, we need to Click on this green circle with a plus here, and you should see it's added that rescue disk uh, to our boot menu here. That's now done. We can now click on the view settings up the very top here, and this will show us our actual entry that we've just added in. Just like so, you can now see that we've now added this entry. So that means it's going to boot to that uh, WIM file, and that's exactly what we want for our recovery. Let's go ahead and close this off now. And what we're going to do is reboot our system, say not now, there, and go down to the start button and restart the system. And you should now see there'll be a new rescue uh, partition that we've just added. And whatever you called yours will show up on the boot menu here. I'm just going to quickly restart the system here. And you should see something looking like this. And whatever you called yours will be listed there. Mine's called Rescue Disk. We can now click on Rescue Disk, and this will boot to our Rescue Disk, which is going to be our WinPE. Now, remember, if you've got a system that's not booting, or you've got a system that you want to recover data on, or maybe you want to do some scans on the hard drive, or maybe you want to reset the password, or maybe you want to do check the temperatures, or check the uh, information of that system without opening up the PC, you can actually boot to this, and it will give you information about the CPU, It'll give you information about the motherboard memory and all that sort of good stuff. So depending on what you're trying to do here, you can do it right from here. It's very simple and easy to use, and it's a really good way of having a rescue area with all your favorite tools. It just gives you access to the computer without actually booting into Windows. Maybe you want to make a backup of the data on that drive. Maybe the system is not bootable anymore, but you can still back up the data. You can see the drive. As long as you can see the drive, you will make a backup image of that drive. And you, or you can make a clone of that drive 
or you can just physically go in there and copy the data on that disk. It just depends on which way you want to go about it. And you can add in whatever programs you want to your WinPE, or you can use someone else's WinPE, whatever it is you want to do. It's entirely up to you. You can also check the system information with HW Info here, and you can move on in, and you can see here it will give you loads of information about the system. You can check temperatures and all that sort of stuff as well. Let's go ahead and go to motherboard section here. You can see it gives you information about the motherboard. Maybe you need to pull off some information about the computer itself and the BIOS and everything else. You will get all that information right here. You'll see that I'm on a virtual machine here, but if this was a real PC, I would be able to get all that information right from here. You can even physically go into the actual hard drive itself and go to the location of the user account and basically copy all that data across to another external drive that you might have plugged in to that computer if you wanted to. If the PC is not bootable and maybe Windows is corrupted, you can actually back up all that data. And it's a really useful way of being able to gain access to the computer, especially if it's not booting. So you can see here, I can now see the pictures section, the documents. And if I've got a few essential documents or pictures on here, I can then quickly copy those over to an external drive or even to a NAS drive. Now, what about the actual drive itself? It's not invisible. Now, if we make it invisible and take the drive letter away, it won't boot to it. So what we're going to do is quickly hide the drive itself. And you can use a little application to do that. I'm going to quickly go in here, put the check mark in Z, and we are going to save these changes. And then when we reboot the system or log out and log back in, it will be actually invisible and you won't see it. So let me just quickly log out and uh, we'll sign out here. And we'll sign back in, and you should now see when we sign back in that the actual drive is now invisible, and you're not going to delete anything from that drive, and it can be uh, hidden away. There you go. But if we look in disk management here, you'll see the actual drive is still got the drive letter Z. Now, if you went into disk management here and hid the actual drive by taking the drive letter away, obviously you're now hiding the drive, and you won't be able to boot to it. So you can see this method just gives us a hidden uh, partition here. So very simple and easy to do. I hope this video has been some sort of use to you. And uh, if you have got a problem with your PC and you need to boot into that PC and you can't, you can use something like this rescue disk where you can boot to it and then copy your data over or do some fixes from that location. It's very simple and easy to do. And it could literally save your PC one day. Maybe you've got a blue screen and you want to check what that blue screen says. Anyway, with that said, I hope this video has been some use. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members. I really do appreciate the support. I shall catch you in the very next video. or will see you on the Discord server for a chat. Have a lovely weekend and I shall catch you in the very next video. Bye for now.